Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I'm very glad you could join me today. I want to talk to you about how you can maintain your hope in spite of the reality of sometimes opposition and disappointments and problems we have in this life. I want you to know that although I believe firmly in God and in His um, involvement in our life, His help in our life, we also have an enemy. And I haven't talked about him much, but he's real, and his name is Satan. The Bible says in 1 Peter 5, 8 and 9, Be self-controlled and alert. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Resist him, standing firm in the faith. The truth is that even Christians are not exempt from the attacks of Satan. In fact, I think he's aiming for us especially. The enemy that we have, Satan, is very personal, he's very aggressive, he's very intelligent, he's very cunning, he's very destructive, and uh, he is extremely experienced at taking out Christians and getting us distracted from our faith in Jesus Christ. If you and I try to fight against Satan using uh, worldly wisdom, or earthly weapons that we might try to use, we are going to lose in that battle. Because the truth is, none of our uh, earthly weapons has any power against the cunning and schemes and fierce attacks of the devil. Instead, I'm going to tell you how to defeat him. The greatest hindrance to Satan's destructive effort in our life is for you and for me to stand strong in the knowledge and in the fear of the Lord. The greatest roadblock to Satan is a Christian who above everything else in life lives for God, not for self, walks with integrity. Walking in integrity means that you're the same inside and outside. You're not a hypocrite. It's like who you are is what people see. Filled with the Spirit of God. That means you have to die to self and allow the Holy Spirit to take control of your life. And, of course, if you're filled with the Spirit, your desire will be to obey God. You see, when you stand firm in your faith in Christ, greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. You can win that battle with it, God's help. Your greatest contribution to the work of the kingdom of God in order to defeat Satan's efforts against God's kingdom is the following. Keep up your daily devotions. Read your Bible every day. Spend time in prayer. Get a notebook or a journal and write down things that God says to you in it. And little by little, day by day, you will grow stronger and stronger in your faith and in your knowledge and wisdom. And you'll be able to defeat Satan's tricks and schemes and, and the attacks. Also, live a clean life. There's things that you got to clean out of your life if you want to live a life that's honoring God and is a, a, a life that God can really bless and use. And be honest. You know, sometimes people want to know how to handle things that come up in their life. I say, just tell the truth. When you tell the truth, you don't have to wonder, what did I say to this guy or that guy? Just tell the truth to everybody and be humble. You know, don't be prideful or arrogant. I remember a time in my young Christian life, I said, well, I could stand against the devil. And I realized that was a stupid thing to say. <laughs> the truth is we need to be humble and remember that the one who holds us in his hand is far stronger than we are, and he is stronger than Satan himself. So I'll ask God to fill your life with his spirit and trust God. Don't ever allow what appears to be a very powerful enemy to discourage you or distract you or cause you to be anxious. Instead, trust God because God will guard you. He will protect you. He can help you to live an upright life, a moral life. He can protect you in every way, physically, spiritually. And be a witness for Jesus Christ. You and I know there are many people who don't know what we know as a Christian and they have no way of defeating the enemy and those used by him. We must tell them the truth, the good news of Jesus Christ. I sure hope you come back next time. And hey, if you don't have a church, come visit our church on Sundays. Uh, we would love to have you here and you'll find a very, very friendly group of people. God bless you.